Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoni. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, Ukraine is definitely turning out to be a full-fledged war over in that region of the world. In fact, recently Russia uh, uh, is, is warning Kiev uh, that they need to stop the escalation of violence there. Uh, on TASS Russian News Agency, which is also posted on Israeli News Live Facebook page, here it states here that the... Uh, the, uh, Kiev's uh, Belokhoi's rhetoric causes serious concern, the Russian foreign ministry said on Tuesday, in connection with the aggravation of the situation in southeastern Ukraine. Recently, there's been further deterioration of the situation in southeast Ukraine, the ministry said, despite the ceasefire regime declared in accordance with the Minsk agreements, the Ukrainian army has increase the intensity of the artillery and bombardments of the territory of the self-proclaimed Donsk and Luhansk regions, uh, republics that is, using all types of weapons. As a result of this, civilians continue to die and sustain injuries of varying severity. Residential houses and social infrastructure facilities are destroyed. The ministry noted districts of Donsk uh, the Donsk airport, and also towns of Spartak, uh, Grilovka, uh, uh, Debaltsev, and others suffer heaviest artillery bombardments. Uh, the the uh, bellicose rhetoric coming from Ukraine, which is encouraged by a number of its foreign par uh, patrons, causes major concern and clearly attests to the, uh, the uh, intention to prepare the public's uh, opinion for another attempt to resolve the Ukrainian crisis by force, the ministry said. Under the circumstances, all responsibility for the negative consequences of such pro pro provocative actions will be borne by the current Ukrainian authorities. Of course, the United States is definitely pushing the buttons for uh, Ukraine to continue to fight. They're training them there, trying to take back over the entire country, uh, at least what is left of it, uh, what's not already been totally demolished by Kiev. And of course, Kiev seems to have absolutely no regard of human life whatsoever. Human life just means nothing to them as they uh, are very much bent and intent on annihilating any Russian-speaking people in the eastern part of the country. I guess their intent is to totally annihilate all the people there in a genocide and then rebuild it later with their neo-Nazi thugs uh, living in the region instead. Uh, and of course, the United States has certainly helped in, in making this a, a success for them nonetheless. Very sad. I shouldn't say the United States, it's the Obama regime that has done this. Uh, not the U.S. people. Many of the U.S. people are very much peace-loving uh, people and would rather not be involved in all the quagmire that we have been in and around the world here lately. Uh, also, another very uh, alarming news that, that, that uh, we picked up on as well is that uh, uh, in Saudi Arabia, there is a young man, he's about 30 years old, he's called a Saudi blogger, was sentenced to 1,000 lashes. Uh, and this is for posting a like comment on a Christian Facebook page. Uh, he was arrested, he's serving a 10-year sentence already. His name is Raif uh, Badwai, a Saudi blogger already sentenced to 10 years in prison and 1,000 lashes is to undergo a retrial for apostasy. If found guilty, he will face the death penalty. His wife told the independent, uh, told the independent news, which RT News is the one that is covering this story here. Uh, Anas uh, uh, Hader, Badwi's wife, said she had heard from official sources that Saudi judges in the country's criminal court want uh, Bad Badawi to have a retrial for apostasy. In 2013, a judge threw out the charge of apostasy against the 31-year-old uh, liberal blogger after he proved to the court that he was a Muslim. The case against him included an allegation that he liked a Facebook page for Arab Christians. Um, but uh, Bad Badawi is already in prison after being sentenced to a 10 years and 1,000 lashes for criticizing Saudi Arabian clerics in his liberal blog. He has so far been flogged once. Repeated beatings have been postponed. The blogger's family and supporters had expressed hope that the international pressure would result in, a, in Badwadi's sentence being reduced. 
It is deplorable. I mean, there is no freedom of religion whatsoever. The rest of the world, many other parts of the world, such as the United States, Israel, and even in many places in Europe, you do have somewhat freedom of religion. In fact, Europe, though, is, is certainly tightening their grip on freedom of religion as well, like in the case of Sweden, where you cannot even uh, begin to approach to witness to an Arabic person. If there is a single complaint, you will be arrested for such actions there. That is actually in Sweden, believe it or not. And of course, the Jewish people have to bob wire, have armed guards and everything else to protect any uh, uh, of the threats that come against them. It's just a total mess every, everywhere you look. And, uh, and unfortunately, it just seems to be no end in sight. Russia, by the way, also is doing um, live fire drills in the Pacific Ocean as well, being reported on RT News. And, uh, and as well, the air defense units in Moscow's region put on full alert in combat readiness drill. You know, the thing is, is what's interesting with Russia, they get more and more ready as if they're actually going into a real live war. And that's something that may very well be coming in the very near future. Reminds me though, what Yeshua himself said, that is Jesus. Jesus made the clear statement there would be wars and rumors of war, according to Matthew 24. And in fact, in, uh, in, the, in one other non-canonical gospel, the very same verse there, he says that the wars, there'd be wars and rumors of war or talks of war and country or people wanting to totally annihilate the other. Uh, that is something unheard of and definitely is something that we are seeing today. But he said, let not your heart be troubled. And that was something I thought was interesting. Let not your heart be troubled. Just paraphrasing these as of right now, because the end is not yet. So all these wars and rumors of wars and the people threatening to annihilate other nations, seems like it won't be that major of an issue, but it's what is next to come. Of course, kingdom will rise against kingdom and nation against nation. We're seeing that, and this may be what's about to happen with Russia and NATO or the United States in this, this particular matter here. Only time will tell what will happen. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom, good evening, and God bless you, and stand with us in support both financially and your prayers as well as we continue on this journey across the world news. Shalom, good evening. Thank you.